Hello and welcome to this special edition of Witness History with me, Tanya Beckett. This month we'll be meeting five people who have experienced extraordinary moments in environmental history. But first, 15 million trees were felled by the great storm which hit the south of England in 1987. One tree not only survived the storm but also changed the way that trees are cared for around the world. Tony Kirkham of Kew Gardens in London spoke to Witness History about what he learned from the Turner's Oak. At the time, it was I was devastated. You know, trees that you'd been looking after, that you'd grown to uh, to, to recognise and be familiar with, were, were lying on the ground. Here we are in uh, Kew Gardens, Royal Botanic Gardens Kew, just south of London. In the gardens we have about 14,000 trees and uh, an incredible diversity representing all corners of the world. There's not been a storm like this in the South Coast counties for as long as anyone can remember. Certainly the scale of the devastation hasn't been experienced since the Second World War. In 1987, on the 16th of October, we had a, a storm that came in from the southwest, very strong winds that wasn't really predicted. In the southeast of England alone, we lost 15 million trees in the space of about an hour. And here at Kew, we lost over 700. The canopies were like the sail of a tree, so the wind hit the canopies and literally pushed them over. The Turner's Oak was probably the, um, the kingpin of the whole story. This whole tree had been lifted out of the ground. And we're talking about a big tree that would have been nearly 200 years old. The whole tree had lifted out of the ground and then sat back. So the whole root plate had come out. It had slightly tipped and leaned over. Before that, we knew that the tree had been slightly unwell, but this was an opportunity to save it and give it a last chance. We managed to push it back and, uh, and we propped it. So the props are still under the tree to stop it falling over again. And we decided that that would be the last tree to cut up. We would clear all the arboretum and then come back to that. So three years later, we came back to that tree, a picture of health. And we just couldn't really understand why. What we realized was over the years, people walking into that had compacted the soil around the roots. The root plate was very compacted. I use a wine glass as, a, as an example of a tree. The piece at the bottom, the base that sits on the table and stops the wine glass falling over, is the root plate of, of a tree. The root plate is very shallow. So on that night, nature picked the tree up out of the ground, shook the roots back in, and then lots of porosity in the soil so that the oxygen could get back down to the roots and, and any water. And what we realized was that every other tree at Kew was suffering from the same problem. That was the start of a new era in, in tree management, not only at Kew, but in gardens across the world today. Over the years, companies have developed machinery specifically for soil injection and, and what we call air cultivation, and from that came the air spade. Whenever I walk past the Turner Oak, I always have a smile and a chuckle. I'm getting a bit <laughs> emotional now. Um, <clears throat> she's put more than a third of her growth on since the hurricane. So I walk past her and pat her, stroke her leaves so she knows I'm there, and thank her, really. <laughs> 